Shalom, shalom, shalom. We are coming to you again today from Gospel Impact International Center, Utange. This is a day of prayer, dedicated to prayer. As you know, we are, the, we are people of the word, people of prayer, and people of love. The arm of prayer today, we want to exercise that to you. Those who are joining us from Dubai, you are joining us from Korea, you are joining us from USA, wherever you are, all the friends of Kenya, wherever you are, we call, we call you today that you join us to pray for this country. As we are about to go for this election, we believe that God is going to, to help us. God will, 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 will have his way in this election in the mighty name of Jesus. His will will prevail over this nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Psalm 92, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto him. So to, we want uh, to start by giving thanks for the 10 years our leaders have been in power. We want to thank God for enabling them, for giving them wisdom to be in power. They have led us. We have not seen war for the past 10 years. God has been good to us. And so we just want to lift up our hands. Wherever you are in the diaspora, wherever, just lift up your hand and begin to pray with us in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name for for year one, for year two. Lord, we thank you for the years that you have granted, oh Lord, for in peace. We have dwell in peaceful habitations, almighty God. In this land, almighty God, we have seen good. We have tested good. We thank you for the president. We thank you for the deputy president, almighty God. Oh, for keeping them, oh Lord, with their families, almighty God. We thank you for, for pushing us through the storm forms of life oh through the pandemics oh lord we want to thank you jesus we glorify your name oh if you are not on our side what would have happened oh god today we lift up our hands we return to thank you we return to say thank you we thank you oh lord for all the ministers who have served we thank you for all the arms of the government we thank you mighty god for keeping each one every one of them lord we want to appreciate you we thank you for the children that were born within these 10 years almighty god father we don't take anything for granted the food that we ate, anything, oh God, the health you gave us. Lord, we are here to say thank you. Mighty God, we bless your name. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for all the missions abroad. We thank you for all the embassies abroad. Lord, we thank you for keeping them. We thank you for all the ambassadors that God served faithfully. We thank you for each and every one of them. Thank you, mighty God, for what you have done. We bless your name and we glorify you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now we are going into this election. We want to pray for everyone that God will lead you, even in your voting, all the Kenyans in there for everywhere, that as you are going to vote, that you will hear a voice behind you leading you to vote right. You will not just waste your vote. You will vote with understanding. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21, it says, and thou shall hear a voice behind thee saying, this is the way, whether you turn to the right or to the left, you will hear a voice. My prayer is that you will hear right. So join us as we pray that God will lead us aright so that we use our voice aright in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray for every Kenyan as they exercise, oh Lord, their right to vote. Almighty God, that they will hear your voice. They will vote with conviction in the mighty name of Jesus. They will vote for the agenda of the kingdom. They will vote, oh God, for the next president who will take this country forward. We pray in the name of Jesus that they will hear your voice. Lead your people this time around. That they will vote peacefully in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That they will vote with understanding. They will vote, oh God, thinking in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let them hear your voice. Let them hear your voice. 
guide them, Almighty God, whether they turn to the right, whichever polling station they will go. Let them hear your voice, O God. Let your angel guide them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The book of Nahum, chapter 1 and verse 3, the Bible says, The Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and he will by no means leave the guilty unpunished. The Lord has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and in the clouds and the dust beneath him, his feet. So God has his way. We are going to say, Lord, in this coming election, have your way. Have your way. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Oh, have your way. Have your way, oh God. You have your way in the midst of a whirlwind. We pray that you guide this nation. Have your way, almighty God. Have your way, almighty God. Have your way in this nation, almighty God. Oh, we command your angel who excel in strength. Oh, Lord, to carry your agenda. Have your way. Have your way. Move, oh Lord, in this nation as we vote, almighty God. Have your way. We thank you, Jesus. And in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We're going to pray for the next president who is coming. We believe God has a set man for this nation. As he comes, the Bible says, At the right, when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. We are going to ask that God will anoint him. Anoint him like he anointed David. First Samuel chapter 16, 13, the Bible says, And the Lord, and, and he says, And Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed David in the midst of his brethren, and the Spirit of God came upon him from that day and forward. Wherever he is, whoever he is, Lord anoint him for that sin. Lord anoint him and consecrate. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Father, anoint him for the set man over this nation. Anoint him, O oh Lord. Set him apart, Almighty God, in the leadership of this country, O oh Lord. Anoint him, O oh God. Set him apart, Almighty God. Keep him, Almighty oh Father, like you kept David, O oh Lord. We pray that you keep him. Oh Lord, keep him. Keep him, oh Lord. He is your man that you have selected. And oh Lord, as he ascends to the throne, we pray that you anoint him. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. Let's go before the Lord and appreciate him. He's worthy of our praise. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. We glorify you. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing. Thank you, Lord, for everybody, wherever you are in this country and outside the country. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Appreciate the Lord. Thank you, mighty God. And in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Father, we bless you. We give you honor. We love you, Jesus. Ribagata la gabashende legeda, radagabashete legeda, ridegebaganda la gabashende legeba, radadagabata legebo. Thank you, Lord, because you have a good plan. Oh, we worship you. We give you honor. We love you. Ribagata li diga, ride dagaba jete li gida, rada dagaba gandi li gida, ride giba gata la gada gaba, ride giba gata la gada. Ezekiel 21:27. I will overturn and overturn and overturn and give with light. Raga bagati li gaba. We pray, O oh Lord. Give us a light person, O oh Lord, to lead this nation in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh my God and my Father, that you, have, you will give us a light person, O oh Lord, a light president in the name of Jesus, for your own glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Ridigi bagata lagada, ridigi bagata lagadi lagaba, ridigi bagata li lagaba, ridigi ba, randa gabagati. We bless you because of that person. Oh, we bless you because of that person, oh Lord. Because you are going to keep him, oh Lord, for your own glory in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Job 34, 29, when you give quietness, who can make trouble? Oh, Father, thank you, Lord. You will give us peace in the name of Jesus. We pray for the peace in our nation in the name of Jesus. We pray peace, oh Lord. Let your peace reign. Let your peace reign in our nation in the name of Jesus. In all 47 counties, we pray for the peace in the name of Jesus. We dismantle any power. We break any power. Any evil plans, we dismantle them. We break them in the name of Jesus. We pray for the peace in the name of Jesus. In our boundaries, we pray for the peace, O oh Lord. Rigabagatali lagaba. Ridigibaganda lagadi lagaba. Ridigibagatalagaba. Let your peace reign, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Ragabagatali lagadagaba. Ridigibagata lagada. Randagabagandi lagaba. Rigi bagata lagadi lagaba. Ridigi bagata lagada. Ridigi bagata lagada. Peace in the name of Jesus. Peace in the name of Jesus. Raga bagata lagaba. In every area, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the peace of Lord. Raga bagata lagada. Randa bagata lagaba. Randa gadi lagaba. Matthew 18. Oh, 18, 18, oh Lord, whatsoever we shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever we lose in the heaven, oh Lord, shall be lost in heaven in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. We bind any work, any evil plans against our nation. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We bind any child, we bind any attack, any evil plans. We bind Find them in the name of Jesus. Any plan against our nation, in the name of Jesus, we bind any confusion, any power, any tribal. We bind the drums of war in the name of Jesus. We bind any attack in the name of Jesus. We pray, my God and my Father, have your way in our nation. Let your name be lifted, O oh Lord. We lift your banner high. We pray, let your power, O oh, come and reign in our nation. Oh, Ragabagatali Lagaba, Ridigibagatalagaba, come and reign, O Lord. Come and reign in our nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you because you are faithful, God, and there is no other God like you. We love you and we exhort you. In the name of Jesus, we pray and we believe. Amen. Amen. We continue to pray for our nation in this time of the elections. It is indeed a critical time when we are deciding the leadership that is going to be in power in the next in the next five years and as believers you know we have a place we can determine what things happen because we have power to do so in the place of prayer so today as we raise a prayer to God concerning our nation we ask you wherever you are all over the world Kenyans in the diaspora, Kenyans out of this country, Kenyans within the nation, friends of Kenya, we ask you to pray with us that this is going to be an election that shall change the destiny of our nation. So we're gonna pray that God will position that set man that he has ordained for this nation to take the reins of leadership. That set man that God has ordained for this nation. God will give him a superior strategy to be able to go through this season of electioneering that heaven will intervene on his behalf, that he will go into office, not because of his, 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 uh, his cleverness, but because he is the set man for this nation. So as we pray for that set man, that God will protect him, as he traverses this nation, campaigning, God's protection will be upon him. No evil formed against him shall prosper because the hand of God will be upon him. And I want us to lift up that set man because there is a set man for this nation. So Father, we thank you for that set man that you have for this nation. Lord, we are not walking
thinking or out of under out of our own understanding we are not moving in our own understanding we know that we are hearing your voice there is a man you have set for this nation and father we cover him right now in the mighty name of jesus we cover him with prayer in the name of Jesus, we pray for protection over his life as he traverses this nation, speaking to the nation. Father, we pray that his voice will be heard, that men will hearken to him. He will find favor all over the nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak protection over him. In the name of Jesus, we declare heaven. Heaven works on his behalf. Heaven moves on his behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. You are giving him a superior strategy for him to use in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we want to thank you. Even for the other men that God is raising to be able to take the reins of leadership. The MPs, the senators, the, the MCAs, the, 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 the people in high offices of leadership we want to pray for the right men in those offices men of vision men that have a vision for this nation men who have honor men of honor we want to pray for men who fear God we don't want wicked men in leadership we want men who fear God and we want to pray that God will allow them to take the reins of power so we pray men of wisdom into the offices in this country men of vision in this in the office of this of this country in the mighty name of Jesus father we thank you for your wisdom that you give to us liberally and father the men that fear you the men that honor you the men that know you that you have set for this season we pray them into office in the mighty name of Jesus we pray them into office in the mighty name name of Jesus Christ we pray they'll have advantage in the name of Jesus Christ they'll have advantage they'll be favored in the mighty name of Jesus we pray them into office in the name of Jesus we pray senators into office that fear the Lord that have vision that are bold we pray them into office members of Parliament we pray them into office them that honor God we thank you father for we need leaders that honor you in this season when you're doing your work in this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying for leaders that have national interests at heart, not their own individual interests. They are, they are selfless men that want to serve, given to serve the people, given to serve the nation. Men that will be able to rule in justice and compassion. They will rule in justice and compassion. Men that are bold to defend the national interests of this country in the international arena. Bold men, they'll not be cowed down. We pray for such to be in office in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for selfless men, men who are ready to serve, men that are bold, men that will rule in compassion. We pray them into office in the mighty name of Jesus. From the lowest of the position to the highest of the position, we pray them into office in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Men that will defend our nation in the international arena. They will negotiate deals that will help this nation move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray them into office in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray them into office in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for men that will consider the plight of the poor. Men that will consider the plight of the poor. Leaders that have a heart for the poor, the disadvantaged in the country. So we pray for such. They will have mercy. They'll exercise mercy upon people. Not people who are full of themselves. People who are selfish. We want people who consider the plight of the poor. Father, we thank you that you give a heart of service the people that you're bringing into office in the mighty name of Jesus. Men that have a heart for the disadvantaged, for those that are poor, those that are, those that are disadvantaged in every area of their life, there will be a priority on their list to consider their plight, to have policies in place that will help them in the name of Jesus. We thank you for such men. Lord, we pray them into office. We know they are there in this nation. We pray them into office in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And right now I want to ask them that I have, have a call for leadership in this country. And you're out there, you know you have a call of leadership. But maybe you are afraid. You have not made up your mind. Or you are feeling that, like you're not able to do what, what is ahead. We want to tell you that God's hand is upon you. If you have a heart for, lead, for leadership in this country. And you have God in you. And you honor God. We encourage you 
to take the realms of leadership so this country can move to where it wants to be. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise and we worship you. We thank you because Kenya is blessed in the season, mighty God. We thank you for that peaceful transition that we are looking forward to. In the mighty name of Jesus, every force of darkness, every dark dealings that could be concocted in darkness, in places of darkness, we declare they'll have no influence over the destiny of this nation. We declare that our nation is protected. Our nation is going to move according to your plan for this, for this season in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We thank you for peace in our nation. In every county, we declare peace. We declare peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we give you praise, mighty God. We know that you're doing it, Lord. We believe it, Lord, and we receive it by faith. Yes. And this nation is moving smoothly. Yes. It's transitioning smoothly yes. for the glory and honor of your name. We thank you and we bless your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, amen and amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer session. We will be praying more and more as we head towards the election, wherever you are. Pray for the nation that God will do that which he has ordained for this season, that we will not miss uh, his, his, uh, his, his, his uh, love for us, we will not miss his, plan, miss his plan for us. Let the will of God be done in this season in this country. So wherever you are, if you have been listening to this prayer session, maybe you're not born again and you want the Lord Jesus Christ to come into your life. We want to encourage you that you can be able to give your life to him and he will become Lord and Savior of your life. So if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and, and have a relationship with God and restore your, your, your fellowship with him because he's your father, then you can be able to say this prayer after me and the Lord will receive you to himself. So if you want to be born again, receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, the Bible says we confess him with our mouth, we believe in our heart and he becomes Lord and Savior of your life. So I want to repeat this simple prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I have heard your word. Thank you for your love for me. I receive your love. I come to you. Be Lord and Savior in my life. I denounce my, my, my past. I embrace a newness of life in you. Thank you because of your love. Forgive me of my sin. Draw me to yourself. I declare Jesus is Lord. And I receive you in my life. In Jesus' mighty name. If you have said that prayer, the Lord Jesus has come into your life. He's now Lord over your life. And, and right now the Bible says the angels in heaven are rejoicing because of you have come back to your Father. So I want to congratulate you. Congratulations. That is one of the best decisions you've made in your life to receive Jesus Christ. Welcome to the family of God. And we love you. And we're praying for you. If you have received Christ, you can be able to communicate with us on the numbers on the screen so that we can be able to reach out to you and, and encourage you because you've made a great decision. God bless you. We'll be uh, coming to you again. Watch out for our programs. And we'll be happy to come to your house and to come to your office and, and fellowship with you. God bless you. We love you. The love of God. Shalom. Amen. Amen.